regulatory capital requirement is the amount of capital a bank or other financial institutions have to provide to ensure that such institutions do not take on excess leverage and become insolvent. And almost 30 years after the publication of the first consultation paper on Basel I, the BCBS has now finalized its reforms to banking supervision capital requirements following the financial crisis. The finalized reforms published in December 2017, together with earlier publications that revise the calculation of risk-weighted assets, including the updated market risk framework published in 2016, are collectively referred to as Basel IV by the industry. The implementation date for the Basel IV standards is deferred by a year in response of COVID-19 by BCBS. Thereby, it shall be effective from the 1st of January, 2023, barring a few regions where banks have to comply by January, 2022 only. Basel C focused on the reform of regulatory capital and liquidity. Basel IV changed the approaches for the calculation of RWA. The major impact of these suggested reforms will be on Pillar 1 and Pillar 3 requirements for the banks. Now let us first understand the changes suggested for the standardized approaches which are relevant to all the banks. For credit risk assessment, the changes suggested by BCBS is to adopt a more granular approach for unrated exposures to banks and corporates. Unlike other guidelines suggesting a flat risk weight treatment to such exposures. The revised approaches have also recalibrated the risk weights for rated exposures and similarly have performed recalibration of CCFs and prescribed a more risk sensitive approach for real estate exposures based on LTVs. Introduced changes to asset class definition, introduction of two new approaches for the calculation of severe risk capital charge and a complete new standardized approach for operational risk computations. And more importantly, the introduction of capital flows limiting the RW reduction that can be achieved using internal models approach. Due to which, even the IRB compliant banks will have to mandatorily calculate RWAs using standardized approach as higher of the two RWAs, i.e. IRB-based RWA, or 72.5% of the RWA computed under standardized approach is to be considered. In a nutshell, the revised approach feature increased risk sensitivity at the cost of higher complexity, and the impact will be witnessed on the following areas primarily. A, impact on data requirements. Bank will be required to implement better processes to capture required data elements and enhance data quality. B, impact on methodologies, processes, and capital requirements. C, impact on infrastructure and technology, as the existing systems will firstly not be able to manage the required interactivity and power of computation. And secondly, legacy technology architectures will require a major overall of the underlying architecture. Collectively, the changes will require banks to re-examine capital consumption across their business lines. And therefore, banks should embark on this new journey by performing an initial quantitative impact assessment, which shall be followed by a detailed data system and policy gaps assessment. The outcome of gap analysis will pave way forward for implementation roadmap and requirements for capital competition engines. The journey ahead should be well planned and thought through as the dimensions under the new reforms are multi-dimensional. Based on our interactions with several large banks in G20 countries, they have already started preparing themselves for effective compliance by 2021-2022. We suggest that banks shall start preparing for enhanced infrastructure and technology to support the ever-changing requirements from the respective regulators. We look forward to hearing back from you on the subject 
the challenges faced by you or any suggestions that you may have, please feel free to contact us at info at the rateaptiva.com.